Welcome back to the Santa Clarita Business Spotlight. You're listening to your hometown station, KHTS. You can find our app on uh, both the iPhone platform and Android devices. Now you can listen to KHTS wherever you are. You can also access KHTS news, social media, and more. The easiest way to get the app is going is by going to your Google Play or App Store and search KHTS. Yes, I'm John I could have done that better. Well, you know, I, I, <laughs> I, I had a, a years of practice when I used to do radio my own self. Uh, back when we had a show that was based out of Palmdale called uh, Business with an Attitude. And then it turned into Entrepreneur's Radio Network. And then it Love turned that. into other things. So I'm here with uh, Fred Arnold, a world-famous uh, Ironman competitor. <laughs> um, famous. Uh, owner and uh, producer over at American Family Funding here in Santa Clarita. And I'm here with uh, a guy that I have tremendous respect for because every time I'm with him over the eight or nine years that I've known him, he's doing something more difficult, more challenging, and uh, most of them are things that I would never, never even imagine myself doing, but that's my own choice. So Fred, you recently did an Ironman in Santa Rosa, which is up north, right outside of uh, wine country. Wine country, yeah. yeah, Napa area. And what 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 inspired you to take on some kind of challenge like that? You know, uh, t- two and a half, three years ago, um, you know, I went through a lot in my life, a lot of changes in my life, and I decided I wanted to do something um, that was beyond me was beyond you know i was going to the gym getting okay results i was uh, jogging but not quite enough i was i said i want to do something this bigger um but i want to be an example to others Hmm. and i saw this someone was talking about an iron man i says how about i I used to do triathlons in college want to give that a shot wow and so i started um about 30 months ago and since then i've been fortunate enough to do eight what's called iron man 70.3s okay three full iron mans or iron mans right with a lot of um you know other other races but the the one thing that that was crystal clear to me as i started this venture is it all starts with signing up hmm it all starts with signing up you could because talk once you about, put your name down you you're, talk you're about, committed right you could talk about it it was signing up for that first race gerardo barrios my coach at the time came in for some um for some advice on a mortgage and he comes in and i start. i said i really inspired to to do it to, to do this ironman thing it sounds right. great and I, you coach he goes yeah triathlons i coach a lot of ironman and i go great and by the way ironman is ironman but it's for men and women in fact many people that many of the ladies that pass me in the race are amazing <laughs> <laughs> let me say that right now uh, and so they're, it's just a, they're it's, called iron man right but uh, it's they're like amazing. mankind yeah, yeah you know you. it doesn't doesn't exclude anyone <laughs> but i signed up and then now i'm in wow and and i let other people know that i dedicated to that right and when you let other people know you're dedicated to something they're going to encourage you but you don't want to let them down that's true too so what did you learn about you in going through this experience um i I, signing up was huge second thing is get help is um get good coach go i would go online and watch swimming videos and then ask my coach about it he was really good about understanding it ask a lot of questions right ask other competitors that have completed it struggles they had successes Mm. they've had um when i got in the water um, recently, uh, in the most recent Ironman, I finished hour 17. My coach finished an hour and 15. I was so proud of that. Wow. Because two wow. minutes slower. And he's a very good athlete. He ended up finishing two hours before me because he was di- other disciplines were, were amazing. But the power focus. Mm. I really focused on the swim um, this past race, and I was really, really proud of that. Um, the second thing um, I found, I got on the bike. It, was a, it took me about an hour, I'm sorry, uh, six hours, 24 minutes to complete 112 miles. But I noticed um, that what kept me going mm-hmm. was other competitors out there. Oh. You can't really draft. It's right. not allowed. But seeing other comp- and encouraging uh, when I'd pass somebody, I'd encourage them. I remember my good friend Adam. Um, he zips by me, um, Adam Grant, and I go, "Hey, Adam, what's going on?" And you're not allowed to really talk and ride side by side. Right. He slowed down for a few minutes for us to just go, ch- chat a little bit, and just seeing him go, and then just trying to keep up with him. What a and fantastic it, it wasn't experience. about competing with somebody else. It was mm. about encouraging everybody to get to the next step. Well, it, it, is uh, this type of thing, is it similar to golf in that you don't really compete with other people out there? You're competing with yourself? Without a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt. I mean, you're comp- you have co- other competitors, but there's, there's uh, 2,000 people to sign up, 1,800 to show, and maybe 1,600 to actually finish. And so, Interesting. Yeah, absolutely. So you're out there pulling for each other. Wow. Um, and so that's what's So it it's kind of like being part of a, 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 an informal club out of, out of nowhere. You're meeting people that you would have never met under other circumstances. Without a doubt. So mile 90 on the bike for me, it was mile 110 for some competitor that looked like a 
really good athlete. Wow. And so I was passing him. I see him carrying his bike. Uh, and these bikes are really light. Right. And jogging in. Now, the shoes we have on the bike, they don't jog very well, right? And he's running in, and he's carrying his bike. And I go, uh, hey, do you need something? I passed him. I have 20 miles left to go on another loop. Right. He's almost ready to go in two miles left. I have 22 left. He, he goes, uh, yeah, I need a, a tube with a long stem. Right before I started taking off, my other coach, uh, Marcus, said, why don't you take an extra tube with you? I go, this one has a long stem in it. I go, well, I don't need a long stem. What is it? I'm sorry, what's the tube for? Uh, flat. Two, oh, okay. So All you right. get a flat. So now I had two tubes, but I happened to have one that had a long stem. Wow. And I go, hey, let me give you my tube because I haven't had a flat yet. Had I'm to going, be a reason. So I gave it to him. So he comes up next to me, and I go, um, hey, where are you from? He goes, go, my name's Greg. I go, where are you from? He goes, Valencia. No. He's from Valencia. Wow. Yeah, he ended up. Uh, finishing top ten in my age group and killing us in most of the group, well, but it was just a great what experience. It's about. Yeah, it was just a great <laughs> experience, um, and I and he, so he got to change his tire, get in, and, and you know, it made me really feel good about myself to help another human being. Mm. You know, um, so it was, it was and fun. Fun. Your whole face lights up when you start talking about this Iron Man stuff. Yeah, it is. It's really amazing. The one. Thing Are you going to do it again? Oh yeah. Without Why? You've already done it. You've proven that you can do it. Why do you want to go back? Or, Why do that to yourself? We, you know, there's a competitive nature in life, right? right? Yes. Getting f against myself a better time for myself. Mm. You know, get what better time. Plus, I love traveling the world. Right. So there's one in Italy next year or Nice, France. Mm. And we're discussing whether we go to Nice next year or Italy. Wow. So why not well, enjoy nice that in part? Well, Nice is in Italy the last time I checked. No. No, Nice is in, in France. Yeah. Okay, let's delete that. <laughs> Let's just, just re rewind that, that and that. delete that. So, and I'll do a voiceover that makes it go away. I'm sorry. I want to share one last um, thing with you. Yes, um, sorry. No, that's okay. Um, uh, I had to run a marathon after. Yeah. 112 miles on a bike, one point or 2.4 miles swim, and I was done. I was exhausted. And my sisters were there. Um, my, my girlfriend was there um, and uh, a lot of friends, my coach, and my niece. And I said, how am I going to do this? But there was no doubt in my mind ever one time that I was going to finish. Wow. Because other people came to support me. Hmm. And, and when you ask for others to support you and they show up, right. you're going to finish. No matter what I was going to do, if I was the last competitor to finish. Hmm. And I was so grateful and so thankful that they came. That there was no matter what, in my mind, I already finished the race. It didn't matter. Unless they were pulling me off. Unless I had a, a broken leg. Unless I could not move anymore, right? I was going to finish. Okay. And so, so rally around other people. Get rally around get other people, people and get people to rally around. Rally you. around you. Yeah. We're all in this together, man. Yeah, exactly. We so, are. Yeah. So uh, as far as I know, they will not be moving Nice to Italy. <laughs> so you can choose so maybe between I go to the both. two. Maybe I go to both. Maybe you can. Or you know, go to uh, I I Italy in the uh, fall and Nice in the spring. There we go. <laughs> all right. So uh, thanks Fred, for letting me share that story. Well, uh, I, I think that. It, all of the people that you have on that you interview and that you allow to promote what it is that they do, every so often it's kind of healthy to, that we hear a little bit about you, yeah, yeah, right? You. You're yeah. here to serve uh, Santa Clarita and the, and the listening audience and our Facebook Live friends and YouTube in the future. So uh, you've been a, a, a great um, beacon of inspiration for me as well. Thank and you. Uh, I'm sorry you didn't inspire me to do an Iron don't, Man. No. I just don't. I don't Half have marathon? that in me. No. 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 Swim, I'll walk. Peer to peer. I'll come and I'll walk All as right. long as I can have a glass of wine on the way. <laughs> exactly. I think that kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. All right. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Absolutely. All right. Welcome to the show. Exactly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, AM 1220 KHDS.